today we are going to learn a new subtopic for calculating the volume of irregular solids. Okay, in the previous lesson we have um, calculated the um, volume of a liquid okay, by using a measuring tools. Okay, now we are going to calculating the volume of irregular solids. Okay, in Malay. Okay, mengira isi padu untuk bentuk yang tidak seragam. Okay, pekerja yang berbentuk tidak seragam. Okay, next. This is an irregular solid. Okay, a stone. A stone. Okay, this is a stone. Alright. Okay, next. My question is. How do you estimate the volume of this irregular solid, like stone? Right. So we can use two methods. The first one is a water replacement method. Okay, water replacement method. Okay. So this method is shown as like this. Okay. We are going to using a measuring cylinder. Okay. Um. To get the volume of this irregular solid okay so this is the overall of this method okay the volume of the water displaced is equal to the volume of object okay volume of object so how to get the water displaced from the rock for example okay very easy take a look on these two pictures Okay, first of all, okay, we fill in the measuring cylinders with water, okay, with water, okay, until a certain level, okay, no need to full, okay, we just fill in until maybe 80 to 90, like that, okay, or 100, okay, next, we get the initial readings, okay, initial readings here is 100, okay, bacaan awalnya adalah 100 milliliter, okay, don't get until full because after this we are going to put the rock inside the measuring cylinder cylinder okay so this will be the initial reading okay initial reading in Malay is bacaan awal okay bacaan awalnya adalah 100 ml okay next okay so after that we are going to put the rocks okay into get okay, into the measuring cylinder okay put it into the measuring cylinder okay after we fill it okay we get the final reading okay get the final reading in Malay final reading adalah bacaan akhir okay bacaan akhir so we have the initial reading and we have the final reading okay so here you can see here final reading here is 120 milli the another one is the initial reading is 100 milliliter so how about the volume of a rock okay very easy okay i consider the initial reading as one and final reading as two okay so now in order to get the volume of the stone is two minus one Okay, the final reading minus with the initial reading. Okay, the final reading just now we get is around 120 milliliter. And the initial reading is 100 milliliter. Alright. So now, the volume is 2 minus 1, 120 milliliter minus with the 100 milliliter. The answer will be... 20 milliliters. Okay? Is it clear for this one? Okay, this one is a water displacement method. Okay? So, next, the second method of calculate, okay, uh, the volume of irregular solids is using a Eureka can. Okay, Eureka can, okay, which is shown here in the picture. Okay, this is something like this. Okay, here we can, and of course you have need to have the measuring cylinder. All right, we we'll fill in the water. Okay, into the urea can. 
okay until age uh, the levels until almost 75 percent okay okay there's a hook there all right after that we are going to put the stone into the eureka can okay then fill with water okay, after we put the stone inside there okay the water will be uh, displaced out to the measuring cylinder here okay because okay it's overflow okay the water overflow from the eureka can will get into the measuring cylinder okay at the same time we can measure the volume of the displaced water okay the, just now okay in Malay okay explain in Malay apabila kita letakkan batu ke dalam eureka can ini okay water yang lebih akan terkeluar daripada uh, corong di tepi ini okay masuk ke dalam measuring cylinder cylinder okay then okay um we can count the volume of the displaced water okay pada masa ini kita boleh sudah mengukur isi padu air yang dikeluarkan oleh batu tersebut dan pada masa yang sama okay itu adalah isi padu untuk batu tersebut okay so isi padu okay the volume okay of and displaced water is equals to the, the volume of a stone okay of a stone Okay, so here, what is the reading? I think the reading is around 100 milliliter. So, the volume of the stone is 100 milliliter. Eh, milliliter. Okay, milliliter. Okay, so, conclusion. Okay, we can calculate. Okay the volume of an irregular object by using a the first one is the water displacement method and the second one is the eureka can okay all right okay you can see this one okay this is the first method water displacement method okay and the last one is the eureka can okay I shall you pay for this one? I don't think so. Okay, you can take a look on these pictures. Alright. Okay, so you take them. Okay. And make sure that you know how to draw these two apparatus correctly. Because in the exam, maybe we have uh, some question for science process skill for this topic. Alright. Thank you. I'll see you again in the next topic. Bye. thousand miles from comfort We have traveled land and sea But as long as you are with me There's no place I'd rather be I would wait forever Exalted in the scene But as long as I am